Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by and visiting with me again today. I hope y'all are having a great weekend. Today we are gonna be decorating my hutch. If you missed the last video where I went and found this beautiful antique hutch at the flea market, I'm gonna link that video up here in the right hand corner and you can go back and watch that if you want. So before we get started decorating the hutch, I want to show you the pieces that I've picked up this past week. I showed you this in the flea market video, but I did pick up this brown pitcher here. I think it's so pretty. It's an antique pitcher. I'll show you, or that's what this tag said anyway. And this is what's on the bottom of it. It did have some pretty wheat uh stems coming out of it but sweet remy will not leave them alone so i had to take them out another thing that i picked up at the flea market last weekend was these little uh milk glass bowls remy's running wild <laughs> ignore the noise in the background they come in a set of four and see if you can see the little details in it I just thought they were really pretty little bowls to put in my hutch. Okay, so that's what I got at the flea market. I got the hutch, the pitcher, the little bowls, and an end table that you saw in the video. Um, yesterday, I stopped by Goodwill before we went to the gym, and I picked up several things. So I got three of these false graph plates. Um, and then I also found one of the little saucers. It's the same pattern. Um, I found one bowl. This, these are all false graph pieces. One thing I was really excited to find was this little creamer. Y'all know I mentioned in my last video that I was looking for another one of these. But I actually think I'm going to put it in my hutch. So um, this one is false graph as well. I think it was $1.99. And then I also found this big bowl. It's really heavy. Um, and on the back of it, it says Hall Made in USA 1281. I thought it would be nice to like as a serving dish. And then the last thing that I picked up is probably my favorite. I just love these little teacups so much. They're so pretty. It has pink dogwood flowers on it and the pink dogwood is actually my favorite tree. Yeah, I would say that it is. I like the pink dogwood and a weeping willow. Those are my favorites. Uh, my parents have a pink dogwood in their front yard and it's just beautiful when it blooms in the spring. Um, I'll show you that whenever it blooms, but it's just so pretty. But I picked up four of these and I'm going to put these in my hutch as well on a little riser, I think. I like this little ridge that it has around the top of it. And the shape of the handle. I just love everything about it. It's just so pretty. Alright, so that is all my thrifted finds that I have found recently. I just feel like thrifting is just such a fun hobby it's just like a treasure hunt and i i just really enjoy it it's a great way to pass the time when i'm waiting on timmy at dialysis if you follow me on instagram that you know you'll know that i've been going to the gym with a friend of mine at planet fitness while timmy's at dialysis and that has been a great um way to spend my time a productive way i guess i should say um and it's really been great we're having a good time at the gym believe it or not <laughs> um and i'm feeling so much better already so i'm really glad that we started doing that and we're going to continue it i'll show you a few, few clips right here of our first few days that we when we started this is our first day at planet fitness how are you feeling about it, nervous super nervous <laughs> We really had no idea what we were doing, so we just tried out different machines for our first day, from leg machines to the elliptical, which I'm convinced is evil. How do I feel about my first day at Planet Fitness? So I am I think on my way to the gym to meet my friend. This is our second day at Planet Fitness. We started on Wednesday. Today's Friday. 
Um, we were both super nervous about going because neither of us had ever been there before. And it was actually really great. Everybody was super nice. We got to get a routine going. I hear that that's very important to have a routine. So if any of you go to Planet Fitness or have ever been to Planet Fitness and have any tips or suggestions, please, please feel free to leave them in the comments. To be daring, baby, dance the night away I let my head down if I won Trying to do five miles <sighs> Kathy did five miles I'm almost there <sighs> Kathy, tell me you I got, got it. it I got you it <laughs> <laughs> said, That's her Okay, off to the treadmill. We finished up with day two and I'm gonna go lay in this hydro massage bed. These things are awesome. That feels so good. The water. All right, this is what we have that we are working with. I've got these plates that I picked up recently. These are false graph as well. For the most part, most of this is false graph. Some of it are some other random pieces that I picked up that I just thought were pretty. Um, I've got this little riser and also this one back here that I picked up from Hobby Lobby recently. A little teacup it also has a pretty little flower on the back I don't think I showed you that earlier um, so I have four of those this little cup you may remember in a previous video this was my grandmother's I used to drink out of all of us grandkids used to drink out of these when we were little and I kept one of them um, so I'm gonna put that in there keep it nice and safe um, let's see, I've got another little creamer here. I've got these milk glass, um, little vases. I don't know if you call that a vase, but, um, we'll put those in there. And then I also have a little cake stand. Thought maybe for spring I might get a little, like, moss covered, um, little bird's nest or something to stick under there I think would be pretty. This little jar that I picked up at um, a Christmas market a few years ago I thought was really cute. Alright, so we're going to get to work on this. So getting all of this out of my cabinet really freed up some space under here. As you can see, now it's all nice and organized it's not too jam-packed anymore um all of this stuff i don't use very often so we're gonna store it and display it here in the new cabinet with the warm lights in my kitchen it gives the cabinet a much redder tone than it actually has in real life so keep that in mind i did go ahead and put my fault graph platter up here and then some of my plates I put right there. And then we're just going to stack um, the rest of the stuff in here. Now the bottom one doesn't have one of these little ridges like these do. So I'm not going to set any up on the back there. So I thought it would be cute to take this little riser here and put my teacups on it. So we're going to do that. These little saucers here are some of my favorites. I just love the little um, scallops on them. I think they're so pretty. See how pretty it is like stacked together? And then I think I'm gonna put my little creamer on top there. So I have a stack of plates here. I'm gonna kinda like 
balance it on this side with another stack um, and then I've got some little plates here with some bowls on top so when I was at the flea market last weekend I met so many of my subscribers I think I ran into like five different people who came up to me and let me know that they watch my channel it was so nice meeting all of you I hope you found some good things while you were out at the flea market um, I also was telling you about the man that I met who owned this cabinet and I told you about how he um, helped me load it up onto the little flatbed um, to take it out to the truck. I didn't, I didn't really go into detail about it, but when he said he would help me with it, I didn't at that time realize that he was the owner of that booth and this cabinet. So I just thought he was just some nice man offering to help. Um, but then he told me as we were wheeling it up to the front that it was his sister's. And that's when he told me all about that, that this was her, basically her favorite thing that she owned. And that's the reason why he didn't want to get rid of it and had held on to it for so long. So we were talking and chatting as we were waiting in line. There was a lot of people there that day. So it was a long line. And my sister had went on down another aisle um, as I was cleaning the stuff out of the cabinet so she wasn't there when the guy came up to me or when he helped load it um so she came and joined me in line and I was standing there talking to this man like I could just see it on her face she's wondering like where did this guy come from and then he went to wheel it out as we were still paying and I was waiting for Chelsea to pay for hers and he was going ahead and taking it out to the car and she says where is he going with your cabinet didn't you just pay for that and I said, I then realized that she didn't know who he was. I said, yeah, he, he owned it. It was his sister's. And she's like, okay, now it makes sense. I thought you just picked up some random old man. <laughs> I'm like, no, <laughs> but it was so funny. But anyway, we got it out to the truck and he was helping load it up. And then another guy that was coming in came over and helped too. It was just so nice. And we just met so many nice people that day. It was such a great day. Okay, so this is how it has turned out. I'm pretty happy with it. I think I'll leave it this way. I, I'm always changing things around though, so <laughs> I don't know how long it'll stay this way, but for now, this is how I like it. Um, I'm just so happy with this cabinet. I'm so thrilled that I found it. It has a special meaning to me now, and um, I hope you guys like it as well. So a lot of you were curious as to where I was going to put this new china cabinet and this is where it landed. I took that black shelf out that used to be here um, beside my kitchen counter and it was a perfect spot for it. A lot of you have some very strong feelings about these drawer pulls here. I have decided to leave those. However, I might change out the knobs because the knobs are not original to the hutch and they are not very functional they fall off the guy said that for some reason they have a problem with people stealing knobs and the little finials i think they're called that go on top of lamps so he just found these and put them on there as i said not original to the cabinet so i may be replacing those i really love that this new cabinet gives me somewhere to store all of my kitchen towels and a um bigger like pots and my crock pot and things like that i'm storing down below this really freed up a lot of space in my kitchen cabinets made things so much easier and i'm really enjoying having this extra space i've also been playing around with decorating the top of the hutch i'm not in love with it so far so this is a work in progress but for now let's take a look at how my kitchen is looking for spring
us a spot here in the sun. <laughs> so sweet. He's obsessed with my hair. <laughs> I don't know why. What are you doing? You like mama's hair? You so rotten. Chin scratches? He likes chin scratches. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so cute. Oh, big ball. Timmy. Hello, Steph. How's it going today? Wonderful. You got a song to sing for him? I have one. I have one. Oh, yeah, we had a requested song. What? Okay. Uh, Beulah Land. You know that one? Beulah Land. I can, throw, I can give it a shot. All right. I'm kind of homesick for a country to which I've never been before No sad goodbyes will ever be spoken And time won't matter interesting going on with you this week? Oh, same old, same old. Had a doctor's appointment with the eye doctor the other day. Going to have to go get cataract surgery next month. Yeah, aren't, you, aren't you thrilled about that? <laughs> they say it don't, don't, doesn't take very long, like 10 minutes maybe. It sure is. My eye is small. It don't take long to cut through it. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, hopefully you'll be able to see much better once they do that. Yeah, his left eye is not so great. He can't, he couldn't read the biggest letter on there. So the cataracts was pretty bad, especially in the left one, but he's going to have surgery on both of them. I am too blessed to be stressed in the little blessed nest. That's right. What do you think of this new china cabinet? What? The new china cabinet that I got last week at the flea market. The one behind you. Oh. Oh, yeah, now you remember. <laughs> oh, you like it? I, I do, I do. Yeah, pretty, very, isn't pretty, it? Very pretty. Mm-hmm. I yeah. wish you'd have been with me to meet that nice man that sold it to me. All right, well, I'm going to rustle us up a little lunch. You know? You feeling a, maybe a big salad? Perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> I am watching my figure. <laughs> All right. Thanks for singing for us again today. Always my pleasure. Thank you all for singing along today. I do hope you come back and visit next Sunday. 
All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel so that you will be notified anytime I upload a new video. Also, be sure to click that bell notification. If you're on Instagram, I have an account there and it is at the little blessed nest. So look me up and you can follow along with more of um, like daily life. Sometimes I post stories on there, whatever's going on that day. Um, I'm not on there all the time, but usually at least once or twice a week. So be sure to stop by and say hello. We love each and every one of you and hope you all have a great week ahead. We'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.